Good morning, our precious brothers and sisters. How are you guys doing? We are on our last series. We are on our last part of the series. This morning, we're talking about activating God's favor. And on this morning, we are going to talk about favor from the pit to the palace. Favor from the pit to the palace. Oh my God, I, I just love what God's doing in this session, amen. Glory to God. But before we go any deeper in the word from Genesis 41, we have to worship God as we sing awesome another time. You are awesome in this place. Come on and help me worship him. You know God ministered to you this week. You are awesome in this place. Oh, he is a mighty God. Sing it to the Lord. You are awesome in this place. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Sing it to the Lord. Hallelujah. You are mighty in this place. We love you, Jesus. You are mighty in this place. Lord, we love you this morning, Jesus. You are mighty in this place. We love you this morning, Lord Jesus. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're doing wonders in our midst. You're doing wonders in our midst. Come on and help me worship King Jesus on this morning. You're doing wonders in our midst. Oh, you're doing wonders in our midst on this morning, Lord. You're doing wonders in our midst. Faithful God. Faithful God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ on this morning, as we finalize this series, minister to your inheritance, minister to your people, strengthen them even favor. Help them to realize that when the favor of God kicks in, when your favor comes on them, Lord, that they can go from the pit to the palace overnight. When you get ready to bring deliverance, you can do it in a hurry. We love you with all of our hearts. Fulfill your word in everyone that's listening. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Someone say a good amen right there. Now on this morning, we're talking about favor. From the pit to the palace, we just got to finalize this series on today. And I want to take you, first I want to give you a little background because we talked about yesterday how God's favor is more powerful than a lie. And Joseph was thrown into prison as a result of a lie that part of his wife had told on him. But you've got to understand the plan of God is something so funny that you can actually think you are out the will of God when those kind of situations happen. But in reality, you can be smack dab in the middle of the will of God. And as a result of Joseph being in prison, God gave him favor, put him over the entire prison. And we know what happened. There were two of the king's guy. One was a butler, one was a baker. They were thrown into prison and both had a dream and Joseph interpreted their dreams and it came to pass. In three days, one of them was hanged, and we know the butler, the cupbearer, he was promoted back to his position, and Joseph told him to remember me, but this guy forgot about Joseph, because that was also in God's plan. It just was not time for Joseph to be promoted. You know, sometimes we try to make it happen, but it just can't happen because it's out of God's timing. But we know what happened in Genesis 41. Pharaoh had a dream and there was nobody that was able to interpret that dream. And you know what those kings would do whenever the magicians and astrologers could not interpret their dream. They would want to kill him. And all of a sudden, the butler, boy, I believe his life was on the line here. Yeah? All of a sudden, 
his memory kicked in real good. All of a sudden, he could remember real good. Aha, Mr. Pharaoh, wait. There was a young man by the name of Joseph. He interpreted our dreams correctly. If you send for this man, I believe he will be able to interpret your dreams. So listen, this brings us to Genesis chapter 41, verse 14. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph and they brought him hastily. My God, my God. They brought him out quickly from out of the dungeon and he shaved himself and changed his clothes and he came unto Pharaoh. We talking about a man that was a prisoner. This was the man that Potiphar's wife, she lied on him, my God. She called him everything but a child of God. She called him a rapist and caused him to be thrown in prison. But no lie can hold you back. When God gets ready to bring you out of the pit, bring you out of the dungeon, he can do it in 24 hours. He can do it quickly. Shout yes! Hallelujah! He went to bed one night, a prisoner, and within 24 hours, the king of the most powerful nation on the earth had sent for Joseph. I dare you to open your mouth and say, it's my time to go from the pit to the palace. Shout yes! Hallelujah! Glory to God! And the Bible says in verse 15, And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I have dreamed a dream, and there is no one who can interpret it, but I have heard of you that you can understand a dream to interpret it. Oh, I love what Joseph answered. And Joseph answered Pharaoh saying, it is not in me. Apart from God, I ain't nothing, man. It is not in me, but God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. And we know what happened. Joseph interpreted Pharaoh's dream correctly to seven thin airs and the seven fat airs of corn, the seven skinny cows and the seven fat cows. He explained to Pharaoh, he interpreted by the spirit of God that it was a famine and he gave Pharaoh wisdom on what he needed to do. But listen to what verse 37 says. This man is in the palace now, just finished interpreting Pharaoh's dream correctly and gave him wisdom on how to handle the situation. Listen to verse 37. And the thing was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all of Pharaoh's servants. That's a miracle, man. That's the favor of God for the entire leadership of Pharaoh to believe in you and like you and willing to accept you. God made Joseph look real good in their eyes because Joseph's moment had come. The Bible says, and Pharaoh said unto his servants, can we find such a one as this is, a man in whom is the Spirit of God? And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God had showed you all of this, there is none so discreet and wise as you. You will be over my house, and according unto your word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than you. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set you over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring of authority from his hand and put it on Joseph's hand and arrayed him in nice clothes of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. And he made him to ride in the second chariot or Rolls Royce or whatever you want to call it, you know, to modernize it and bring the story home or his nice presidential limousine or Cadillac, which he had. And they cried before Joseph, bow the knee. And he made him ruler over his house. And what I like about this story is you got to remember just two chapters earlier, Mrs. Potiphar lied on Joseph and Pharaoh now promotes this man over all the land of Egypt and now every knee has to bow. This means that Joseph is now 
Potiphar's boss man, the very one who threw him in prison. <coughs> Are you listening to me? Now Joseph is Potiphar's boss man. Now Joseph is ruler over Potiphar's wife. Joseph could have her assassinated if he wanted to, but I love her. this part of the story because this shows you a picture of the life of Christ in Joseph's life. Because Pharaoh said, only in the throne will I be greater than you. It's a symbol that Jesus Christ is seated at the right hand of God, the place of authority. And the Bible says, God has given him a name that's above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Your enemies, they're about to bow. The liars, they're about to bow. The gossipers, the haters, the dream killers, the scholars, they are about to bow in the name of Jesus. So the lie that Potiphar's wife told on Joseph positioned him to be in a place where God can promote him and bring him from the pit into the palace. So what the devil meant for evil, God made it work together for good. Somebody shout yes and help me give him a praise. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place. Come on and lift your hands to heaven, church. Come on and worship him. You are awesome in this place. This is your hour of promotion. Oh, we love you, Jesus. You are awesome in this place. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Hallelujah. You're doing wonders in our midst. Sing to the Lord. You're doing wonders in our midst. This is your moment of promotion, you know. This is your moment of promotion. I declare promotion over your life. I declare God is bringing you from the pit to the palace in the name of Jesus Christ. God is getting ready to bring you, my friend, from the pit to the palace. It's your season. Things is about to move. Things is about to happen quickly. You better pack your bags and get ready. I said things is about to happen quickly. Now I have an announcement to make for my lovely people down there in the Bahamas. You that are in Nassau, Bahamas. I am coming to Nassau on December 12th and 13th. I am coming to Kingdom Ambassadors World Outreach Church. That's where Pastors Joshua and Pastor Grace Asuedo, they are Asuego, they are the host pastors. Pastor Joshua and Grace Asuego, they are the host pastors and the senior pastors of that ministry. Kingdom Ambassadors World Outreach Church. The address is Sunrise Paradise, Farrington Road in Nassau, Bahamas. Sunrise Paradise, Farrington Road in Nassau, Bahamas. For more information, you can call 242-356-6257. 242-356-6257. Six two five seven, and another phone number is two four two five four four nine nine six eight two four two five four four nine nine six eight, and also for my wonderful people that live in Freeport, Grand Bahama, I will be coming to Freeport in the in the month of of March the eighth and the ninth. This is two thousand nineteen, March the eighth and the ninth. My God, we're coming to do a citywide crusade we are going to be preaching the gospel and praying for the sick declaring the power of God God spoke to me and said son fill your horn with oil and go home I'm ready to anoint and raise up a new generation God is about to pour the oil of the Holy Ghost out on a new generation in Freeport Bahamas he's going to shake the whole country but I believe it's going to begin in Freeport Bahamas so Freeport, Grand Bahama, Bahamas, get ready. 
March the 8th and the 9th. I believe God is going to do signs, wonders, and miracles. It's not over yet. I dare you to open your mouth and say, it's not over yet. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost just talking about it. The Spirit of the living God have commissioned me to go home to my people and declare what thus said the Lord. That will be March the 8th and the 9th of 2019. Glory to God. Now I want to give all of you an invitation to join us on our YouTube channel. If you have not yet subscribed, I'm asking you to click on the red and white subscribe button at the bottom right of the video. Do it right now. Don't do it if you're driving. If you are driving, wait until you park. But if you are sitting down at your house, click on that red and white subscribe button at the bottom right of your video right now. If you're watching us through Facebook, like us on Facebook, follow us on Facebook, and we are inviting you to join our Facebook group. It's called I Believe in Miracles. Send us a request and we'd approve you instantly to be a part of our Facebook group. And also, we want to give you a chance to sow a seed into the ministry to support the work of the living God. Listen, you can give through the ministry secured website. It's seanpinder.net forward slash give. seanpinder.net forward slash give. If you want to give through the ministry PayPal account, that address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinderministries. paypal.me forward slash seanpinderministries. If you want to mail in your donations, make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pender Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas, 75011-7442. My God, my God, we love you guys. Did you enjoy this series on activating God's favor? Please let me know. I will be looking for you guys' comments underneath the videos and we are getting ready to go into a new series we are getting ready to go into a new series i believe we will be talking about jesus christ the healer uh, during this entire next week we have so many requests coming in for, for those who are sick with cancer and just incurable diseases that's beyond medical science i really want to take the time out next week and do an entire teaching on the healing power of God and what you need to do to prepare to receive a miracle of healing in your body because there are certain things we have to do to prepare ourselves to receive from the Lord. Are you listening to me? And if you're looking forward to that series, I'm looking for your comments underneath this video because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God on the particular subject that you're believing God to receive a miracle in. Amen. Now just remember, Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy, we love you guys daily, our wonderful partners and viewing audience. We love all of you guys. We appreciate you so much. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. And we will begin a new series on tomorrow morning talking about Jesus Christ the healer. We love you guys. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.